Hello, this is Marshall Kirkpatrick for ReadWriteWeb.com looking at LeapFish, a newly relaunched real-time search engine. Uh, this company says they're making $10 million uh, in revenue based on sales of keywords uh, for search results, and they have almost no traffic at all. Uh, it's an investment in the, the long-term future of the search engine. So, how's the search engine? Let's check it out. You go to the LeapFish homepage, and you'll see that you are uh, presented with top stories, and you are given the option to put some widgets onto the page. Facebook Connect did not work for me. Uh, Twitter Connect did work, and I'm able to interact with my Twitter stream right here on the LeapFish homepage. Uh, let's see, am I able to... Yeah, I'm not able to drag things around, really. Um, Wasn't able to create a LeapFish account. I was given an error. You can see that uh, didn't work very well. I just tried to delete the Facebook widget. It confirmed it with me and then relaunched the page with the Facebook widget still there. Uh, so there's some technical issues here. And account creation doesn't happen automatically when I authenticate uh, with Facebook or Twitter. It's kind of a mess. So let's look at some search results. Let's say world series highlights, right? Logical search query today. But maybe Leapfish is made up of Phillies fans. I don't know. And they don't want to talk about it. The recommendations, Little League World Series highlights and 2001 World Series highlights seems pretty off topic. Uh, we've got news search results. In this case, the University of Connecticut Daily Campus uh, from six days ago. Well, that's not fantastic. Then we've got uh, web search results from Yahoo, Google, or Bing um, that we can flip through with a little Ajax pagination. That's nice. Uh, and then LeapFish will determine which of 40 other sources have the most pertinent search results to display on a search results page as well. And in this case, we've got Dig, what appears to be a front page story from July 2008. Uh, that's a shame. And then something from Yahoo Answers, yeah, from uh, 12 months ago. Shopping is right on. Uh, the Amazon widget has this year's World Series highlights, and the video search results uh, are only pertinent in one out of four cases. The, Like I said, the UI is really nice. Check out this video search results page. Look at that. Big player uh, right there in the middle with a bunch of other smaller options down below. Unfortunately, we are 54 years behind uh, in that search result. We can flip through with a little pagination there, too. That's nice. Uh, here's from after Game 2 World Series highlights uh, of this year. And then these related stuff, related videos are chronically off topic. Uh, but what if we do a search in real time? You can see there's no threshold for dig search results to appear here. Um, there's just one one dig that's been given to this story. I'm a little skeptical. Then we've got Twitter search results. Uh, they don't look too bad. Uh, they don't look too spammy. When there's a link to a YouTube video, it is uh, highlighted here. And then we've got any number of other things going on. I haven't tried clicking the share button. Ah, look at that. Nice little light box. I can share any of those links out to a third-party service. That's pretty well done. But I didn't really get what I was looking for. Not terribly impressed with that. Let's try a different query. Let's try coffee in... I should spell things correctly, right? Coffee in Portland, Oregon. Now, in this case, the real-time search isn't, isn't worth a whole lot to me. But if I go to the web search, it's pretty nice. Leapfish knows that Yelp search results are, are helpful. There's a little real estate search for Portland, Portland, Oregon, in case you're curious. Web search and some good responses from Yahoo Answers. So that's not bad at all. 
And Leapfish says that Wolfram Alpha will be included as one of their sources by the end of the year once they get the API stuff figured out over there. I'm not sure what queries that would make sense for, but I, I like the idea. Real-time meta search brought together intelligently in theory in a nice clean UI. Uh, the, the company's able to able to bring in revenues but the search results are really not very good yet and there's some technical problems as far as I can tell. So there's Leapfish in just a few minutes.